VPD is vapor pressure deficit, okay? And what is that essentially? We need to think of it like this. Uh, a, a reading of zero VPD is essentially like saying there is a maximum amount of water being held in the air, vapor pressure deficit. They measure this in pounds per square inch or also what's called KPA that you saw on the display, which stands for kilopascal measure. Okay, and we're not gonna get so deep into that, but essentially what we're talking about here is VPD is responsible for a plant's transpiration. And plants transpire continuously throughout their growth phase, right? So basically we kind of have to think of this as a plant breathing or sweating. And how that occurs is, we have to think of the process of nature, okay? We have, we have precipitation or watering to the plant's root base. After that evaporation occurs in the root zone, upon evaporation, everything pulls through the plant, through the stem and to the leaf's tissue where transpiration occurs out of the leaves, okay? So essentially, it's a process of flow through the plant the vapor pressure deficit reading controls how the plant actually transpires at what rate. And if these ranges are off, your plant isn't as healthy or growing as fast as it would. So for all of our flower growers out there, we have to remember that by dialing in VPD to the optimal ranges based on the plant's phase, because we have vegetative phases, we have early bloom, and then we have mid and late, late bloom. And as we go, we wanna be keeping that VPD in a selected range. To keep it simple, VPD assists in optimal plant growth. It's that simple.